Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. We are Creative Kiddos and we're excited to teach you some simple do-at-home experiments that you can do yourself. My name is Andre. I'm Grace. I'm Timothy. I'm Mika. And good day, my name is Brandon. Today you'll learn how to make an infinite Mobius strip, a sundial, and how to mimic a tornado in a bottle. First up to bat is the Mobius strip with Timmy and Andre. Take it away. In the Mobius strip, all you'll need is paper, scissors, and glue, or alternatively tape, whichever is easiest for you. First, you need to cut off the side of a strip of printed paper so that it is just less than one inch in width and full length. Then, you hold the ends of the paper together and cut the ends diagonally. Let go of one end of the paper and then put tape on one of the diagonal edges. Now twist the paper and attach the tape so that both ends are flush with each other. Use a pencil to draw a line across the entire strip and you have your Mobius strip, a piece of paper with only one side and only one edge. Even though it's really simple, you can make a bunch of them connecting like a long chain and your mind will be blown by all of the interesting properties of the paper. Hi again, let me ask you to look around. Are there any clocks near you? Well, we're going to be making one that dates back to ancient Rome. A sundial is an ancient form of timekeeping that, you guessed it, counts the hours based off the position of the sun in the sky. This is also a very simple but fun experiment. And first, you're going to need a marker, a paper plate, and a simple stick you can find outside. It's also best if you do this outdoors. So first, we want to poke a hole in the middle of the plate. Then put the numbers 12, 3, 6, and 9 on the north, south, east, and western facing points of the plate. Now, once that's done, put numbers 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, and 11 in between the gaps. Just place the stick inside of the hole in the center and you're done. Now just take the clock outside and put it in the sun and it'll tell you the time. This works because during the day, the sun moves across the sky. When it does this, the shadows of objects look different. A shadow at 1 p.m. looks different than a shadow at 8 p.m. Using the length and positioning of shadows, a sundial is able to tell the time. Make sure to put your sundial in a sunny place. Last, you can create your own tornado, but don't worry, it'll be in a bottle. The materials you'll need are a clear water bottle, water, soap, and optional food coloring. To start, you'll need to fill your container about three-fourths full of clean water. Then, you can eyeball estimate a bit of soap by dispensing it for about two seconds. Next, add in your food coloring to make the tornado as visible as possible. Make sure you close the lid really tight if you want your tornado to form. Now, all you have to do is spin your bottle in a circular pattern and there you go, it's a tornado. So after all of that, you have three simple but cool and creative experiments. Thank you so much for taking the time to do science with us. This is Creative Kiddos, and we'll see you all next time. Then you can eyeball estimate a bit of soap by dispensing it. <laughs> next, add in your food <laughs> 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 Andre. Andre. Oh, we're still recording. <laughs>